And greetings to you, Scratch Ticket fans. What do you think when you see so many $1 tickets? Well, <laughs> TIT Productions and yours truly, Idaho Scratcher, believes that it's time to climb the ladder. Yep, double doubler, and it's still around. Why? Because no one knows where the last, <laughs> those two big $4,000 winners are. Nobody knows. In Idaho, it's missing. <laughs> Lost. Nobody can find them. This thing is like 87% uh, gone, and they have not found them. So, maybe we will. Today. <laughs> I do not know. But we are going to try, and we are definitely going to make a good effort of it. Climb the ladder. You take what you win from 50 tickets or whatever ones. I actually did this with five $1 tickets. And you saw us grab you know, all the way up to a $30 ticket once. Had $20 tickets several times. $10 tickets almost all the time. $5 tickets. You name it. And we keep climbing and climbing and trying to see how high we can go, how much lottery we can get. Uh, this is why you can actually find out uh, getting more lottery than what you pay for, uh, getting it for free, and actually getting a nice tidy profit. We've done that with the $50 version with this very ticket, as a matter of fact. And we keep playing it because it's still here. Anyways, this ticket, what you're looking for, you're going to have a single prize, double prize, and double double, which is basically four times the prize. Uh, match three like amounts and then uh, get it. Scratch the prize level below to see if you double it or even four times it. So... On this ticket are, the odds on this ticket are pretty crappy, but it does have higher winners. $16 winners are capable of getting in this ticket. One in four, three, seven. So and there it is. You can actually see it. There's about one in every pack. We've actually got a $50 winner and a $100 winner. And I actually got another $100 because I actually won their little uh, prize for putting $1 tickets in. So <laughs> that's pretty cool. Ticket number 127. Here we go. How high will we go up that ladder? Well, it depends. Remember, we have now have had uh, a good result, and then we had like a poor result due to, you know, we still got more. We still had $80 lottery for 44 bucks. But what ended up happening was that, you know, poor execution. Picked the wrong ticket, went to that $3 ticket and failed. Went all the way up. Last time we got the holiday version of this, and we did pretty well. We got all the way to $10 ticket tier. That's what climb the ladder is. It's all about choices. So... Good, bad choices on your part, my part. In this case, it was on my part. All right. What will we find today? One in five. So I can get, have like, what, seven tickets in a row fail? There's our first one, Beasting of Death. That's fine. As always. What we have been always mostly having, we had that a good start, but a bad execution. We had like $30 back, and then went and grabbed some... $3 tickets instead of grabbing those. Probably should have gone to the fives or the twos. That's an M Sting of Doom. Yes, it is. In order to beat that, any types of things that don't spell anything, you got to get over 25 bucks. Or suffer the consequences. That's what happens. Okie doke. A beasting of death again. Let's see if there's still some good stuff in here. That's three tickets in a row that lose. Well, winner up here. Struck pretty hard up here in Idaho. Gave us some good ski snow. And then it promptly froze up. Everything froze up around here. Now we have several days of, like, bone-chilling cold. Lovely. M. Sting of Death. Doom, I should say. That's four tickets in. How do you like your lottery today? Free. That's what I like to say. Looks like we're going to get a one off of this one. And it does. Playing those odds again. Idaho Lottery does it. Test your odds. See if it does it. Check, check those pack odds. What does it say? Like, how how often does it, do you get a, a $1 winner in your pack? That's what you want to see. So you, want, you want to check and see how many there are. You got how many tickets? We got 300 tickets in a pack. They say it's like 1 in 8. 1 in 6. Well, I got it in 4. And now they're playing the... Um, overall odds, one in four, three, seven, and I actually got it on the fifth ticket, so that's pretty much close to the odds. Pay attention to that. When you're playing, when you're trying to find out how to play responsibly, you want to start paying attention to those numbers. 
That'll tell you. A lot of people just says, eh, I'll leave it up to luck. Yeah, and uh, huh. how good has your luck been lately? I mean, leave it up to chance, or you can actually, you know, play it right and win. M, Sting of Doom. And that's our first ticket. C, Sting of Death, too. That rotten C, Sting. That stings us, too. Come on, Double Doubler. You've got some big winners in you, and I don't know where they are. People are actually going around and digging into the packs looking for it. They know it, too. There's another failure right there. That's two. This is part of our lottery perpetuation. We want to show you how to play the lottery for less money. Yep. Doing pretty good so far this season. We're going to be looking at about possibly 600 maybe for, let's see, 350 on about a 500. Yeah, about 150 bucks. And that's another fail right there. That makes three. Alrighty. And if we could just find one of those big winners, tide it over like most people do, we should be able to do pretty well. Mm, four more tickets into the drink. Hopefully I don't get to hit one of those seven dead patches. Ugh, I hate that. Fifth one, a winner? No, it's a sea sting of death. So, we're going to see that. Only way to do that is to get 25 bucks. And we're not getting that either. So, there's that going to be a fifth loser. So, we're going to hit that dead patch. Got to hit it hard. Here's number six. Oh... And they saved us with the one. But it's getting deeper and deeper just to find the one. That's no good at all. Gotta find something bigger than that. We're looking for $25 back. Take number 116. So we've only got like two out of like 10 tickets. That's getting pretty poor. I'm not looking at that doubler, and there's a reason why, because it says O-N-E. You know what that is. It's one. I know. You guys think I'm missing it, but I'm just actually saving time trying to. When, it, when that thing doesn't say it, I won't even look. There's back-to-back -back winners. Yeah, it's just to save time. I know I know. I'm, that there's that prize level, but it doesn't change it, I'm telling you. There's, these letters are actually better at determining what it is. There you go. Now, I want you to see these letters. That's SXT. That's a $16 winner. We found the big one. Yes, we did. There it is. And this is what I want to show you. This is a four times winner. Because look, see it says 444, but it would be F0R. But see, the, X, the SXT is 16 because this is going to be a four. This is a double doubler. And what did I tell you? There it is. Those letters will... Not steer your lot wrong. If you understand how your lottery works, you'll you'll understand. You'll see this work. We found a big winner. There it is. That is actually going to um, help us a lot. I imagine we might get over about thirty bucks. I'm gonna hold. You know, cross my fingers on that. You know, don't keep it. You know, don't hold me to it because the lottery can be really mean. This could be like a you know the only big winner we have. Then we have like lots of dead patches. But I found the sixteen dollar winner in this pack, and that's. Towards the end. So, there you go. Big winner. And I am going to enjoy that. Because now we have like uh, 19 bucks already. That's actually... And we got lots of tickets. We got lots of tickets. There's going to be several, you know, maybe $4 winners. Doubling up on the, you know, doing the double doubler four times on the dollar. 114 ticket. Um, you're going to see a lot of stuff. So, let's not count it out yet. So, maybe we'll have a good uh, run. A pretty good run on this.
Well, now you know that SXT will be 16. And then you see what I said. We got the M sting of death right there. I think that's a T. Yeah, but it won't matter. Uh, SMT. Oh, well. Don't know if that means anything. All right. That's our first loser ticket after the big winner. 113. Come on, lucky you 13. Give us a winner. There's a possible two. I see that TW. Hmm. And it decides not to. That is a second loser after the big winner. Found a $16 winner. Oh, N-E. Um, third ticket in. And this time they give us another one. We are on a winning patch. Good. And it says O-N-E. It does not see the you-know-what. So let's get that. Now we have 20 bucks. What are we going to do with that? Oh, man. A lot of people say, well, keep it and walk away. Yeah, that makes us have actually, you know, $50 a lottery and you get it for 30 bucks. <laughs> That's how it works. Reinvestment standards. A lot of people don't know why. Play on a budget. This is one reason why. You know, you try to show people. Somebody's got to show you. I mean, what's responsible gambling? I mean, it's it's in a room full of irresponsibility. I mean, you're taking your own money and you're throwing it in there and you're, you know, you're getting a promise of getting something. You know, it's not a guarantee. It's kind of like going to a store, you know. You go in there and you, you, you go in there and you say, I'm going to go buy some steak. You go in there and you buy some steak. With the lottery, they promise to give you, like, you know, $4,000. They, you know, they start saying, you know, saying that you can win $4,000, but it's not a promise. You're not buying it outright. This could be a $4 winner. And it is... And again, the letters don't lie. That's a double doubler right there. Another one. F0R or F0R, you're going to see that. It's a dollar. And right here. Oh, we're at 24 bucks. That is so cool. And there it is. That is a $4 winner. I knew we'd find another one of those. I'd like to find another 16, but, <laughs> or at least an eight or something. How about a hundred? We've done that before. <laughs> That was crazy. Well, we are now right where we're supposed to be. We're at like 24 bucks. Hmm. Already. So how high will we go? Back to back winners? There's a possibility. And here is our mid standing right here. We just found our mid mid room. Yep, there's one dollar winner right there. Oh any. There's our O right over there. There you go. All right. So that makes us have 25 bucks. You know how you're supposed to get uh, half your money back? Uh, we're going to get more than that. That means a good start again on climbing the ladder. I mean, that would be crazy. And where will you be when you're playing climb the ladder? Because it might be actually time to go straight to the fives. Actually, I'm actually thinking about uh, climbing the ladder. You know, going through the twos, go up to the threes, fives. Get all the way up to the fives and get them out of the way. Get them out of the way early. And why would we do that? Because we want to hit the higher ones, maybe. We might do that. Hmm. So many opportunities. A loser there. There's our first one. So many opportunities to climb the ladder. And you always get more lottery than what you actually pay for. It is true. I bought 50, but look how much I'm already getting. I've already got 25. That's $25 more. That's seventy-five dollars worth of lottery for fifty bucks. There's a one right there. Um, yes, O N E. There's a one. Now we got twenty-six. Well, of course, I'm not going to do a standing count. Only had two tickets before we got that winner too. So, one o six. Look at the, how this works. You can see it working right in front of your eyes. I mean, I'm getting seventy-five dollars worth of lottery. For the same 50 bucks right now. Just right out the back. It's like $76 now. But you get the idea. It's working right in front of you. I don't promise anything, you know, that you're going to get a big winner out of it. But you could. You start out with this, with these ones, and you wound up getting like the, you know, 
$50 ticket that we get in Idaho. There's a new one coming out. It's another, uh, my lottery rep said it was going to be another million dollar. It's going to be a running ticket. That's what he says. I don't know. He's did so well. I want to see if it's going to work again. Yikes, that sea sting of death. Mm-hmm. Well, that's two tickets down. In flames. I don't promise you're going to get a big winner. I mean, I just told, let's tell you that your results may vary. They, you know, it's not indicative. What I'm doing here is not indicative of your, you know, the results that are here are not indicative of future, you know, results. Um, what ends up happening, it does show you that you are capable of doing it. And many other times, one of the promises that I can make you is that if you're diligent, you will see that you will continuously have uh, more lottery than actually what you actually paid for. Um, you pay $50 and you get an extra, you know, $80 more of lottery. I mean, you can get all, all, all the way up to $80 and or even more. Let's see, this is the third ticket that's a loser. Okay. Might hit a losing patch here. Can't lose forever. <laughs> as long as you stay within the odds. Oh, boy. This is going to be crazy. Uh, EGT? I got 444, but it's not saying 4. That's TE. You get a double doubler, doubler at 16. There we go. This is a, double, a standard doubler. EGT for 8. And there you go. Now we're getting serious. Now it's serious. Uh, we found a $16 winner and an $8 winner in the same section. What is going on? Uh, that's like, you know, 26 all the way to, where are we? 34? <laughs> we're at 34 bucks. Wow. We're going to have a good start. <laughs> what am I going to do with that? <laughs> Hopefully I don't louse it up. <laughs> I mean, you can ruin yourself <laughs> when playing Climb the Ladder. Uh, that's the thing. Sometimes it's a beautiful thing because you actually make the right decisions and it keeps going and going and going. I mean, literally, you don't know where to stop. I mean, I had that. I mean, 100 and... Doing the same, very same tickets. And I don't have anything right there. Um, very same tickets. $185 pure profit. Uh, it was crazy. 102 ticket. That's number one losing. Yeah, you saw that one if you were watching us when we were... Doing this with the community challenge. It was just plain crazy. You don't know when to stop. That's what... <laughs> good old me. I have a problem knowing when to stop. Thing is, once you grab yourself... You can get, have a chance to grab yourself a profit. Do it. I don't care if it's only a dollar. Just do it to save yourself. There's two tickets down that are going to hurt us. All right. Yep. If you can make it free, do so. You get 50 bucks, make it free. Make your session free. Oh, there's an MBW. That is a dead ticket. That's three tickets after an $8 winner. All right. How do you get the $4,000? Well, I'm sure you can get, you know, $1,000 and then uh, quadruple, double, double. Order. That's probably, that's the best way I can find it. Now, oh, there's four tickets there. Killing me for a winner. Losing patch? Not yet. One in four, three, seven. This one could be a winner. Ticket number 98. All right. Yeah, that's a beasting of death, too. Got to be over 25 bucks to get that. Oh, no. Fifth ticket. Are we doing that again? You bet we are. Four tickets down. That's going to be, well, that's five, actually. Here's that sixth. And an M Sting of Doom. Where are we? Are in a dead patch now. Huh? That's what it is when you get seven tickets in a row. Yikes. What are we doing? Seeing the loser patch. <laughs> we had pretty close together. 
Now we're at number seven. Is this one a winner? How many tickets in a row can you go without getting a winner? I believe I said it was seven because there it is. <laughs> O and an E. That is a one. There's not a TWN. See, that O was there, so you know there's an E. That is a one. Wow, it took seven tickets. Oof. Oh, it's about one in four, three, seven to win, so you add about two on there. That's just a, it's not a, gen, it's, it's a general rule, not an actual rule. But that's what I've seen. You go about two over, and usually that's what happens. That's what's funny with the lottery. Uh, more losers you have, you have to get a winner. If you, especially if you pull them in a row, you're getting closer and closer to one. Now we're back on that losing trail. Loser number one, ticket number ninety-four. Where will we end? We'll end on a good note. That's true. Okie doke. That's two losers in a row. That's three. Thank you very much. I could see it. <laughs> see it before I even know it. When I see that C sting of death. Number four. There's that beasting. Gotta hit higher than 25. Uh-oh. Going back into it. Number five. Oh, please. Have some mercy. Am I asking the lottery for mercy? There's a G sting of death. That's five tickets down. Oh, yeah. You know it as much as I do. Oof. Number six. Losing patch. You better be a $2 winner. I'm telling you. Get a doubler on there. It's a one. Yeah, it is. You know it. There's the O and the E. That is a one. F O R is the four. There's a one. That was like, you know, seven tickets in. There it is again. All right, don't do that anymore. I don't have very many more tickets left. Ticket number 89. Not enough tickets left to get doing that. There's a bee sting of death. Let's find that $4,000 winner. That would just blow it out of the water. Am I going to go buy $4,000 in lottery tickets? The answer is no. <laughs> that's just... That's not responsible gambling. Ugh, spending everything you win into more lottery. Ugh, I don't perpetuate... I don't uh, purport to do that. Although I talk about lottery perpetuation a lot, that is not what you do. <laughs> you don't do it when you win big. I do it so I can get you into more odds so you can get the, a chance to get that. And then once you do get it, you play with your money smart. <laughs> Just because the lottery gave it to you one time doesn't mean it's going to do it again. There's two tickets down. Stack is getting smaller and smaller. It's ticket number 87. Here's my third ticket scratching. At those odds. No idea what that is. A loser. <laughs> That's the third one. Fourth. Now we're touching the odds. Fourth and fifth tickets is when I'm touching those odds. I'm doing that a lot lately on this pack now. It's got to catch up with me, I guess. Mean, mean, mean. Filthy mean. That's what that is. Hmm. 
All right. Fifth. Doing it way too much. I gotta stop that. Get some back to back winners again is what I need. Oh, yeah, I'm in like the dead ends, Phil. Number six. Ticket 84. Sixth ticket. Five losers in a row. They're doing this too many times in a row now. I'm in the bad section. So I pulled the good section where I got the eight and the 16, and now I'm sitting here. There's no uni. That's a one dollar. Maybe we'll get 40 bucks. I'm going to hope that we get 40. That's quite a bit back. I mean, that's 80%. I'm doing my math correctly. All right, there's another G. That's going to start over the losing. All right, eat that, Jack. Eat another loser. There's one. I've only got about five tickets left. I say two winners left. Come on. One of them's got to be pretty big. Let's do it. Do it today. Do it for me. Do it for show. You're on camera. All right. That's two tickets. Third. No. That one ain't gonna do it either. Okay. Four. I only got three left. One winner, maybe. If not, <laughs> no, I've only got two tickets left. That's it. <laughs> That's it, folks. <laughs> That's all, folks. That one's going to do that. That one's going to be the big L. And the final ticket, ticket number 78. And another loser. Wow. All those tickets? Six? Can I get another loser? Ouch. Be that way. Be that way, lottery. See if I pull you anymore. Well, we gave you like $24 and above the halfway mark. I mean, you got to look at it for what it is. There's a loser. Big old thick stack of losers. Look at that. Uh, that's why you don't play the lottery and why we don't play the lottery. That's the reason. More losers than winners. A small stack. Doesn't even look like the one in 437 that I was promised. Ugh, what can I say? Cry a river. That's what I end up having to say. All right. Uh, what do we have here? Well, let's find out. No, we got ourselves a one, two, three. That right there is 11, 12, 13, 17, 18. Oh, good luck with that. 28, 34, 35, 36, 37. That is $37. We did not get 40. 
But that $16 winner and that $8 winner basically says that we got, you know, like 16 $1 winners and eight $1 winners. So this stack is actually bigger than what it really is. But who's to say? We also got a $4 winner. So we got four, eight, and 16. That's not bad when we actually pull it out of this pack. So we're looking at $37 in lottery. What are we going to do with that? You will have to stay tuned to find out. Oh, so many losers on this one this time. But we are going to figure it out. I did tell you what I was going to do. I am actually going to do like a, you know, a, all the way up to climb the ladder. But I think I'm going to go and concentrate on the twos and probably go all the way up to the fives. You know, I'm going to go, I mean, like one five, one three, and then like all the other twos. That way we have a spread and then we can have a little bit more fun. See if that way works. Remember what I did. Um, I did like, you know, $2 tickets and doesn't do very well sometimes. Then I did $3 tickets and it actually worked really well. So I did $3 tickets again and it didn't do very well at all. But when I spread on the winners, the winner tickets that we had, our holiday tickets, uh, I did pretty good. You know, we went and grabbed that $3 ticket, found $30 and, uh, did the, you know, did one $2 ticket, then went to the threes and then went up to the, like did one five and then went up to the 10. So let's try that again. See if we win. <laughs> All right, you guys, take care. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Let me know what you like and what you don't. And hey, we do this kind of stuff all the time. Part two coming up, and you know what I'm going to do. Hopefully I stick to it. <laughs> Stay tuned to find out. Thanks again. Bye-bye.